Today I'm going to teach you how to play Lord I Lift Your Name on High. It's a really easy song and it's a good song for a beginning guitarist. So let's check this out. Okay, Lord I Lift Your Name on High. If you don't know the G chord, you should, you should learn the G. There, this is, and the D, E minor, and A minor. Make sure you know those. G, D, E minor and A minor. We're going to be using those, but we're using this uh, different version of G where the third finger is not here at the bottom string, it's up on the third string, and the pinkies at the bottom. This is used in a lot of um, contemporary gospel music, Christian music. Okay. The next chord after G, this is the first chord by the way, is C at 9. You bring these two fingers down a string. The first and second fingers. Here they're on G. You bring them both down as one unit, one string. And that is a C at 9 chord. So G, C at 9. Just like that. Um, this isn't this is easier than a regular C chord. You should learn the regular C, but this is easier. Now we're going to go to D. Now try to not lift your third finger when you go to D. Just lift your pinky and put these two fingers, your first and second, in the place. Like that. Third chord's D. So we have G, C add 9. C at 9. You can just strum two strums on each chord. Each chord is actually only two beats long, half a measure. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is like 90% of the song, 95% of the song. This is all it does. So let's start this off. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in. repeat that again. So our other chords there were an E minor, an A minor, and then D. So let's go through that last part right before the E minor it was going. goes into the chorus of the song. Right back 
rocking to the rhythm. And often it will do a second chorus at the end. It's like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, chorus, and then end the song. And that is pretty much it. One little thing about the song is right before the chorus, it can go from G to C, D, then C, D. And it's often played that way. I'll, I'll go through the version of it like that now. It's just one goes back to D on one beat. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Here it comes. See? For those of you with higher voices who can't quite sing it like that, here we go, capo. Maybe capo time. Okay, you put a capo on um, girl's voice. The first part often for girls is too low, and that's the problem. They can't sing it this low, or that it's not comfortable. Lord, I lift your name on high, because it's actually kind of low. Just try capoing, maybe on the third fret. Lord, I lift your name on high. You play the same chords. Lord, I love to sing your praises. The problem is sometimes the other part may be too high. You came from heaven to earth. It'd be too high for me. Um, so that's it for this lesson. So. Please look for more tutorials. I'm going to do the easiest uh, contemporary worship songs I can find. And a lot of them use G, C, and D, and A, all these chords. And they're pretty repetitive, so they'll be easy to learn. So for, please look for those. Please subscribe to the channel, like my video, share it. And I'll see you next time.